Hi everyone, my name is Brenda Huey Rosas and I am from Ballard and Thai and I am your curriculum rep, instructional materials rep. Today we are going to look at an activity from Frames for Fluency. It really does target oral language, listening and speaking, but here at Ballard and Thai, we always say speak to write. So listening to speak, to then write, to maybe read your own writings. So this activity is going to be for Halloween. I know Halloween is coming up, so I encourage you to try this lesson in your classes. Be for kindergarten all the way to 12th grade. Uh, sixth through 12th graders, generally your newcomers, your level ones and twos, this would really be great for. We love images here at Ballard and Ty. So here you can see we are going to start everything with an image. We have suggested vocabulary as well as language functions. So definitely you want to teach vocabulary explicitly. You can do this through some images. You can pull some images that are digital, um, show them different things like season, fall, autumn, celebrate, or you can explain it through the picture up here above. We also have intermediate and advanced level vocabulary as well. You are going to see language functions. We believe that language functions is really how you get students into that academic realm of English language acquisition. So for newcomers and beginners, you're going to describe appearances, maybe how they look in their costumes, and express preferences and opinions for intermediate and advanced. Again, really when you have them do higher level things like compare and contrast, express, analyze, you're really working in that higher order thinking skill realm. So again, seasons and celebrations. You are going to see some standards here if that is your correlation. Let's start at building schema. Whenever you build schema, you always wanna start with an image. So you'll see the image up at the top and ask the questions. What event or celebration is this? How do you know? Whenever you use, how do you know? You're asking for some evidence, some examples. What are the kids wearing? Name the characters you see. Do you dress up for Halloween? Tell me about the costumes you have worn, so personal experiences. Why did you choose that costume? Challenge them to explain. Lower levels, you know, may have one or two words, that's okay. Higher levels, you definitely want them to explain in sentences a little bit more with fluency. Let's look at the newcomer beginner describing appearances lesson here. So you are going to point, definitely have them point. Um, that is really a great skill in test taking for newcomers and beginners. Maybe their answers can only be one word or a phrase, that is okay. But we love sentence frames. Frames for Fluency, the program, it's a set of materials with actual physical sentence frames. We believe a lot in word and picture cards, theme pictures like the one you see above. But here you're going to see the blank is wearing a costume, right? So the girl is wearing a a turkey costume. All right. And then he or she is a turkey. So you're going to introduce the question. You're going to introduce the frames. You're going to practice with them with adjectives and have them, you know, put in the chart their responses. So maybe the astronaut, and then you could explain it in a few words, but you're really helping them with the words that are adjectives. You're then going to speak to write. So you're going to have students choose a costume they would like to dress up in, and they're going to write short sentences about that costume. You can model it with the sentence frames for sure, and then have them write, then have them present their writing to the class. Again, having them speak to write to then read their writings. All right, let's take a look at the intermediate and advanced level. So they are going to express preferences and opinions. So would you rather be blank or blank? I would rather, right? So the would you rather is asking them to choose a preference. Um, explain the phrase would rather, and then you're going to have them maybe chart their reasons for or reasons against. Uh, this is a really great opportunity for them to organize their thoughts before they really do speak more. Then you'll have them model their speaking with that sentence frame. Maybe they write it first to then speak it, or I would actually have them speak to then write, to then formally do their speaking. So you'll see here some great activities. These are really small activities. They could be a warm up for your class. They could be the whole class, depending on how long you wanna spend on it. But 
Frames for Fluency is generally that kind of program. You're going to use it fully cover to cover if you have lower level students. Um, if you have the higher levels, you can start in the blue set, which is our set two. That generally starts in past tense, a lot of comparative structures. You are going to have sentence frames that are already made for you, word and picture cards, a theme picture. And it just really is a flexible tool that you can use in a push-in, small group pullout, whole class sheltered EL. Uh, it's just so flexible. But the whole goal is to really work on their listening and speaking to then write, to then maybe read their writings. So if you would like to chat with me about Frames for Fluency and see more, uh, you can schedule a demo with this little link here, or you can send me an email and we can schedule some time together. If not, have fun with this great activity. Let us know some of your thoughts. Have a great day. Bye.